Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, apologize for my little uh, rough appearance. I was just outside. It's like negative 20 right now. Doing some grocery shopping. And what I wanted to do today was kind of give you guys a little insight into what I eat and the way my diet is structured that helps me maintain my physique effortlessly. Now, before we get started, just want to show you kind of a little bit what I eat in a day. Um, you know, nothing too fancy. Usually it's just kind of whatever I'm feeling, whatever's on sale. It's not very structured. It's not very specifically macro bound. Um, it's just kind of, you know, what I'm in the mood for. And that's one of the contributing factors as to why I can eat like this and stick to this diet year round. You know, now that I've lost the weight, I will continue to maintain this weight and do it while enjoying myself and still making progress in the gym. So let me begin. Just kind of give you guys a little update and showing you what I'm eating today. Um, got some turkey sausage. Again, I usually, you know, it's the low fat kind. I'm not very peculiar or particular about, you know, healthy versus unhealthy. It's just, you know, whatever's on sale, whatever I can get. Um, vegetable blend, frozen, frozen vegetables are fine. They're actually, you know, sometimes better because it locks in the nutrients. Um, we got some wraps, carb control. So they got a lot of fiber, gonna keep you full. Got a little bit of tuna just because I wanted it. Um, had a quest bar, already got into that. And then we got a little ice cream action. Gonna eat the whole tub, of course. You can't let any go to waste. Um, gonna get that started, You're gonna get lunch together, and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Right, so that is taken care of. We got lunch out of the way. And that's gonna kinda go tie into this video. Is that, if you couldn't tell, you know, I just ate all that, all at once. I like to do one meal a day, um, you know, the fasting. And there's no other reason to it other than it helps me get my caloric goal for the day. It's not gonna be this autophagy or growth hormone or some other third thing that magically makes you lose fat. There's none of that. That is all complete nonsense. And when anyone brings that up when they say the benefits of fasting, I cannot help but just roll my eyes into the back furthest depths of my head because there is no you know, special diet or special timing or nutrient proportion that is going to make any difference in terms of fat loss other than the calories in being less than the calories out. That is all that matters and that is all that ever will matter if you are trying to lose weight, if you are trying to stay shredded. Now, of course you can go up to someone and say, oh, you know, just burn more calories than you consume. That's how you lose weight. Well, how do you do that? and that is trying to find the diet that works best for you. Now, when you're trying to get to a healthy weight, you can do pretty much anything and still lose weight. Like, you have to try. If you're not exercising, if you're not eating someone healthy, like, it's pretty simple and it's pretty easy once you get the hang of things um, to just kind of stick to these and develop the discipline. And that'll eventually lead you down the path to getting, you know, a decent healthy body weight. Now if you want to get shredded and stay shredded, that is a different story because being shredded is psychological warfare against your body. Your body is throwing everything it can at you to try to get you to eat more. It does not care that you want to be shredded, have a six pack, have all them cuts and shreds. Your body just wants you to be at a normal level. We are not normal. We are shredded freaks. And we have to find a way to trick our body and to satisfy our body just enough to let us keep up the weights in the gym, to let us keep up the energy to have day-to-day -day functions, still maintain that muscle while losing fat. Now, my philosophy find getting shredded what can you do to make sure that you mess up 
the least amount and give yourselves the least amount of chances to mess up because you're going to mess up. If you try to do, you know, the perfect optimal diet, eat six times a day, eat nothing but boring, bland shit all the time, you're going to cheat, you're going to binge, I guarantee it, and that shit does not make one difference. You can eat whatever you want, for the most part, you know, get your protein, I'd say 100 grams is plenty. Everyone wants to do this 250, 300 grams of protein. That is ridiculous. That is overkill. Whatever it is, whatever you like to eat that can satisfy you enough mentally, as well as give you the energy to make it through the workout, make it through your day, and stay consistently in a deficit 100% of the time, is the diet you should follow. That is why I do one meal a day. I can eat literally whatever I want, as much as I want, feel full physically and mentally satiated, and then you just don't eat. You just find something else to do. You don't have to worry about meal timings. And once you start eating, the more times you start, the more times you have to stop and the more opportunities there are for you to mess it up and for you to overeat. So if you eat once a day, completely fill yourself up, you'll be able to stop when you want to, and then you just coast off that for the rest of the day. It's not a binge. You know, this isn't some eating disorder. I'm eating a specific amount of calories that I need to do. I'm in complete control. Everyone wants to try to say if you do something a little funky or if you try to restrict in any way that's an eating disorder, most of those people look like crap. And most of those people don't have what it takes to be a shredded freak and to stay shredded. When I got to my leanest point for my photo shoot, I was 180 pounds. Right now, three weeks later, I am 180 pounds because I'm not doing these stupid crash diets. I'm not doing any of these crazy cut and bulk cycles, which you don't need to do. You can absolutely build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Or if you want, you can just maintain, slowly put on the muscle and slowly lose the fat and recomp. That's definitely an option. What you need to realize is that there is no such thing as universal nutrition or exercise. What works for one person might not work for another person. It's all just kind of a broad spectrum. And there's a very few principles you need to follow. Everything else just doesn't make a difference. It's all for show. It is all just people usually bullshitting, trying to sell you their special diet. You can fast, you can do one meal a day like I do, you can do six meals, I don't care. Whatever works for you, whatever gets you from point A to point B through the path of least resistance, that is what you should be following. It's going to take an incredible amount of willpower, an incredible amount of dedication to get to and maintain this physique. You only have a finite amount of those resources you need to save that and you need to put those efforts into consistency, into giving good effort into the gym. That's really all there is to it. Just consistently hit your targets. Just be good enough. You don't have to design this perfect program. You don't have to have you know all these optimal meals. Just good enough. The least amount of effort for the most amount of return it's called the Pareto Principle. That is going to be your friend. Getting shredded is super simple, yet it's super difficult. Let me stress that. Stop. You don't want to be spreading yourself too thin. You don't want to be doing anything too crazy. The more complex it is, the more steps you have, the more opportunities you are going to mess up, the more opportunities you're going to slip up and lose all the progress you're making, get frustrated, and quit. 
So that being said, I like to eat how I like to eat. I can eat whatever I want. I still lose weight. I eat junk food every single day. I ate junk food only for a month and lost 10 pounds. Everyone who says it's insulin or growth hormone or when you're eating your body stores as fat, bullshit. Complete bullshit. Track your calories, whatever you're eating now, eat less, move more. How do you do that? Find what works for you. And that's that. Thank you guys for watching today. Follow me on the Instagram and TikTok now. Doing that too. And uh, have a good one.